What's up y'all? So today I'm doing something gay a from my video today. So today I thought I'd do something which I actually haven't done before and that is react to old photos and videos on my USB stick. So I have a load of like USB sticks which have a load of like old photos and videos from like many many years ago. And I thought today I'd react to them today and unlock some childhood memories, you know. So like things are such as like old video footage which I never actually use for videos. There's like old photos of me, old memories, all the things. So I haven't actually used this USB stick in quite a while so I actually can't remember what photos and videos are on there but it'd be good to plug in this laptop today and have a look at all the old photos and videos. So that's what I'm doing today. So yeah, if you're excited, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, do all the things and let's get started shall we? So first of all, let's find the USB stick. So I'm going to plug this thing in right now. So now I'm just going to log into the computer now and set everything up and I'll get back to you guys. Two hours later. Okay, so currently I'm on my USB thing here right now. So I'm going to try and look at some photos which are um, very interesting. Okay, so first up is this photo of me with like an alienated face. So this was actually for when I first started using Facetune. So this was when I first like got like a new phone which like I can actually do things because before I got the phone which I have now I used to have like an old Windows phone and it never used to really do stuff apart from like text, call and watch YouTube videos but that's about it. So I got kind of excited when I got like a new phone which could like download apps such as Facetune, Instagram, Facebook, all the things and so I decided to Facetune the crap out of this photo and as you can see here it does not look very good. <laughs> Oh my god. And then here's another one. So it looks like I learned how to do it. You know when you move your face on Facetune and, and make it look... Well, it's supposed to make your face look more rounder if you want like like more of a round face. But I took it a bit too far and decided to make myself look like an alien. And I think I might have also just learned how to use like the grey filter as well because there's like a grey kind of filter. So that's um, that. Oh my god. Okay, so this was my first ever selfie when I got home for getting my new phone so it's so blurry it looks so bad <laughs> i think i got the new phone from tesco i think and i was in the car home from tesco and as soon as i came back home the first thing i did was just take a photo of myself because i got so excited of the new phone and all the new possibilities that could come with this phone like it was literally such an exciting time for me and so i decided to take this really bad blurred photo of me with the most funniest face ever oh my god okay so i went on holiday one and I decided to bake this like cake which I got from Morrison's like this was before like I could actually bake things like I used to just get cake sets like Morrison's and I got that and I also got like I think I, think I also got like the jar of buttercream icing as well and I got these like hundreds and thousands as well and I decided to make a cookie cake but then also top it with buttercream icing and loads of hundreds and thousands and I remember eating it and it was honestly such a mess like it literally just like crumbled and it wasn't a cake it was more so just a crumbly mess that just had icing on it and I remember it being really sickly as well like I remember feeling so sick after eating that as you would do by looking at it like it looks so terrible <laughs> Okay, so here's a bit of a story behind this. So I once went to a Weatherspoons pub and I decided after eating there when I first like walked out and stuff to take a photo shoot. And this like shirt here which I'm wearing, like that's actually my pyjama t-shirt now. Okay, where else is there in photos? There's loads like thumbnail photos. When I used to make videos, like, I used to actually make an effort to make thumbnail photos. Like sometimes I forget to like post with thumbnail because usually how I make thumbnails nowadays that I'll like take the time of, like a video to maybe do like a pose or do this. But I'll do that when like recording, like so you guys can't see because I'll normally edit it all out. But I used to forget to do all that. So literally the next day, I used to have to um, get a camera out, get the lights out and just like do this. For like the thumbnail poses and it was honestly so bad. Oh my god, these literally were just like the same like gasping poses like that. Like I legit just used to do that all the time. I think it was a good like photo. <laughs> I love that photo of me like, like the camera. I think I was recording a what a YouTuber does in a day. And I was doing a thumbnail, I was holding the camera. And I think I may have took that photo in the 
toilet it looks like so that's a bit of a weird place to shoot a thumbnail photo but I guess it's better than nowhere. Alright so hi future me and my editor in this video right now but I just realised why I recorded that thumbnail photo on the toilet that's because the house I was living at at the time was like quite a dark house and all the lights in the house were like orangey that like had like orangey light bulbs and stuff so it wasn't really white which wasn't really that bright so by that rhymes. So the bathroom light that I had was like the only like white and bright light that I had in the house so beforehand I used to have to get like my table lamp because I had no like ring light at the time. I used to have to get my table lamp and like put it right behind the camera lens and then take a photo using the lamp as like the lighting so it's quite a tedious process I will say and I couldn't be bothered that night so I decided you know what I'm just gonna go to the bathroom and take the photo there because it was a lot more brighter so I think that's why I took that thumbnail photo. Anyway back to the video. Okay so those are all the photos which are um, on my USB stick but there's like loads more photos but I think I'll do a part two of this video where I'll show you guys more photos because I'm sure I've got even more photos somewhere but I'll try and have a look but um, yeah those were uh, very weird photos um, but they brought back a load of memories. I think I may have definitely tried too hard to be an Instagram model by the looks of those photos because most of those photos are literally on Instagram thinking, oh my god, I'm really such a Instagram model, even though they're literally just like grayscaled photos of me just like posing with like, I know enough baldish hair, with like, um, yeah, it was very weird. But I hope you guys like for watching this little video, if you have to, whether you're liking this video, subscribe, do all the things, you know what to do already, nah. But um, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day today, let me know what we're doing until next time, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.